there is an AMBA association. Uh, that is an association of MBAs around the world, which gives also accreditation. And AMBA made this feel about us because we were getting the prize uh, for being one of the four most innovative MBAs among 700 of their members. So that was quite something. And we got this innovation uh, prize award together with INSEAD, you know, you know the school. And um, we got it for uh, having ethics in the program, having uh, aesthetics and, uh, and sustainable development. But especially, uh, especially, uh, uh, especially aesthetics, especially art and leadership, because this is really something that is unique in the world. We have uh, in MBA program, we have seven, sometimes eight days on art and leadership. How can, uh, how can uh, somebody, a manager, becomes better observed to know something and to watch the beautiful paintings and to reflect and to understand? what means a certain style of, of that in the, in the art, history of art, what means your own style of leadership, what are the characteristics of one or the other. You can draw the parallels, but you are also doing, going much deeper with that. What can one learn from music? You know, one, how can you become a best, better listener to listen to the music? And uh, you know, you have different degrees of listening. You have first the noise, then you react quickly on that, but you can also, uh, you, you, are, you have to put yourself in the shoe of somebody else to start to understand what is the message and then to become. You know, you can lose all kinds of prejudices through the art. I mean, through art as a tool of leadership development. So there are many, many things, and my colleague is there, so afterwards you can ask Ian, you can ask me, uh, and we shall explain you further. Uh, perhaps in a few minutes about, because you heard mostly on that short film, uh, I would just like to repeat that we have, uh, we, we, if you start with the youngest generation, then we have Discover Management Program every July. It's a nine-day program for students. And it's the cheapest one because this is our, it's like 450 euros, but of course we always have some scholarships still. It is for nine days of education uh, at this Discover Management. So it is for young people who really would like to know something about management and they are preparing themselves for a job. And it doesn't matter which kind of um, uh, education they have, whether they are medical students, whether they are architects, whether they are economists, whatever, engineers, etc. So this is something really highly motivational and people are liking it very, very much and professor is very uh, innovative, very committed, Professor Kasachian from the United States. Then, and some other professor, but he is like the main one. So this is in July every summer, if you are a student. Then we have a young manager program, if you start to work at least one year, but there are people coming who are five years, 10 years already working, still young, usually, you know, between 26 and 30, even a little bit older. Uh, and they, this is the 12-day program, in, uh, also in July, from 2nd of July to the 13th of July. And um, everything is in English, of course, so we make exams with you, interviews on the phone, if you are from far, because we would like to see that you are speaking really English fluently. And that is like an integration into the workplace, through the team building, through some basic finance, accounting, marketing, uh, organization, etc. So, um, the, you know, and then every evening a lot of fun, but of course also working very hard. This is young managers. Then we have general management program, which is three weeks plus two weeks. It's, it was just now finishing. It, uh, it is in May, three weeks. Uh, two weeks and then three weeks in October, end of September, October. And that is for people who like to go from, you know, who are in transition, who would like to go from functional knowledge to the more strategic, uh, strategic responsibilities. And, um, uh, and they are like average age 33. And it's like a mini MBA, although I don't like this word mini MBA, 
because it's MBA or it's not, but still it is a very serious program and a very international program. Uh, and then people make a project work, individual project where they try to resolve a problem in their own company. And they get a mentor and they are working you know, very much on that. And when they come back, they defend it in the school. And when they come back to their company, they defend it in the company. Then you have an MBA, and we have three MBA studies, uh, which you get for which you get two diplomas. One is master in Slovenia, a master of management diploma, and then you get it in English, uh, uh, an MBA diploma, and uh, with all the names of professors, etc. But I said it's international accredited study, and uh, this MBA, it's as I said, three sorts of. There are, there are three types, three uh, in three different forms you can make it, but it's all the same. It's one year, it's the most intensive one, you can make it in 17 weeks in one year. So it starts in February, five weeks in one piece, then it's in May, five weeks, May, a little bit of June, of course, uh, in, one, you know, in one piece, and very hard work, I have to say. And then in September, four weeks, and then in November, beginning of December, three weeks. A very important part of this study is a project. But this project you don't do alone, but five people together, they work on that consulting project in a certain company. So it's also interesting for your companies because 90% of all the knowledge that companies get from the students, they are immediately using in the practice. And that's why we have a fantastic relationship with businesses all around Europe. Even in Sweden, we made such a, pro such a project. We made it in Germany, in Austria, in Netherlands, in Russia, in all over Eastern Central Europe. So it's, you know, you heard that school is very international, but this film is already some years old. In the meantime, we have from 74 countries, people studying, uh, and they were more than 70,000 already. And, um, and then you have, so this is one year MBA, the most intensive one, if you can afford absence of 17 weeks in one year. The other one is uh, everything the same, but is in two years, and is divided in the modules of two to three weeks. You have sometimes you come for two weeks, sometimes you come for three weeks, mostly two weeks, and it's seven times in two years. And uh, everything the same, projects, um, 11 exams, which are mostly essays. You saw the professor Jim Allard, whom you recognized or who you're studying there. He is still considered as one of the best professors of finance in the world. He came from IMD Lausanne. And we have still Joe Pons, who is you know, considered, uh, considered as one of the best professors of marketing in the world, etc. So we really have high class professors. And if you have a problem with one of the subjects, they are in the weekend helping you and also your colleagues. And then we have residence MBA, which is for people who are not having time to stay there, you know, uh, a longer time, but they are coming when they have time and they are joining the one-year MBA or the two-year MBA. They get a private mentor who brings them to the study, and they get somebody who is really looking after him or her, and um, uh, you know, and inviting you if you don't come for some time, etc. So time is the compromise, not the quality. You still have to do everything. The only difference is that you have to have an individual project, not a consulting project for, with five people together, but alone. And you have to try to resolve uh, theoretically and practically one of the problem from your company. So everything is described in the brochures which we have on the internet. And as I said, I'm available to explain. We have some great people in that residence MBA. And then we have, we call it president, but you don't need to be president, you have to be top manager. And then we have also doctoral studies, last four years. Ian Sutherland is the director of the uh, doctoral studies, and that is um, four years, and we shall have now soon first one to graduate. And it is like every year, it's again an executive education, so every year, you have um, four or five weeks, you know, again, one week, and then you come after two months again for a week. So you have some lectures on quantitative research methods, qualitative research methods, and you have uh, 
strategy and leadership, its accent is on general management, like it's all our studies, it's on leadership and general management strategy. These are the subjects where we are really uh, famous for and, well, and, and where we are really feeling very strong. And I have to tell you that all the professors in PhD, like you have also creative writing and so on, there are other professors, you know, all, again, from all over the world, but there are other professors, not the same, who are teaching you in the MBA or in other programs. So we are trying for every program uh, to bring in other faculty so that you can learn again something new, a different approach, etc. And when I talk about different approach, it's really a very, you know, modern approach where you are, probably is today the longest lecture that you will have. It's not a lecture, it's, you know, half an hour, maximum one hour they talk and then you get the tasks, you go in the class, in the seminar rooms, breakout rooms, you are resolving the problem, coming back, etc. Because managers don't like to sit and to listen. Managers are people who are active all the time, dynamic, etc. And then we have half of our revenue comes from in-company programs. And I have to tell you, for me, the biggest success is that more than half of these in-company programs come comes from Austria. And you know Austria occupied Austrian tribes, I say occupied for 400 years Slovenia. And the Austrian was the last one who would come to study to Slovenia, you know? They were coming to, for other things to Slovenia. So for me, the biggest success was to convince Austrians that they are close, you know, one hour by car or three hours from Vienna, you have a very good school where also Austrians could learn. And that's why we have a lot of Romanians. Also, I didn't count them in this 350, you know, uh, because there are more. From Romania, they come to Henkel Company, which had already 20 seminars with us in company programs. Erste Bank, which is here, very present. I heard that this bank that they bought here was in fact bigger than all Erste Bank together, and Unica, and um, uh, some other, we are now competing for Austrian Post to get the tender there, etc. So uh, we are happy to have Austrians because they don't have economic crisis like we have it in Southeast Europe, and that's why uh, we are looking for other markets. And we also had 14 seminars for top management of British aerospace, and we had for a Dutch insurance company, Achmea, which is also active in Romania. And, uh, and I was uh, last uh, October organizing and having a seminar, which I personally led for British Aerospace in Brazil. So we were for the first time winning the tender to have a seminar on another continent. So we are really trying hard to be more and more international because Slovenia, I don't know whether you realize, but it's a small country. One of our professors, Kasadjian, said, Slovenia is a small country of elegant surprises. Two million inhabitants, as elegant as they may be, you know, the mountains and everything else, but the two million inhabitants, you are obliged to be international. And that's why from all the beginning, we became international, we are building this international image further. So here I would stop with the, with the, uh, you know, with the presentation of the school. Perhaps I just conclude still, why innovativeness, why art? all that because people are asking themselves why art? We, I think that two things are really characteristic for us. One is this art. Art is because we realize all that we need creative managers. Today there are so many problems, so complex this situation that we really need to, uh, to prepare managers to be creative, to be innovative, to, be, uh, to, to think on a, a different way to have full of imagination, etc., because you have to cope every day with some other problems, and you cannot just go on one module. You know? What you learned yesterday is already obsolete, obsolete today. So uh, this boosting of creativity and imagination and inspiration, people need an inspiration to survive and also to, you know, to make something out of their life. They are looking more today for meaning. What is the meaning of my life? What is the meaning of the of the work I do in the organization, at home, in the society at large, etc. So that's why we have art and leadership. 
and um, and uh, we are really you know and that is something where we we felt that we are strong in I think that you know in all former socialist countries we had one thing and this was that we were all knowing much more about art and we went much more to the art galleries and we had much broader education than everybody else. This was our competitive advantage and I discovered that we should build on that. And we can beat anybody in the world with that, you know. And that's why we get British Aerospace and all these guys, because we say we have education with impact, with emotional engagement. If you want to change in your life, you need something what happens to you emotionally, you know? If you are thinking that you will divorce, or that you will marry, or that you will leave the company, or that you will create a company, you need a strong emotional impulse for any change. And, and that is what, what we are doing, you know? We are emotionally engaging people. And, uh, and uh, so it is art which is emotionally engaging because as famous professor of uh, organizational behavior, organizational culture, Edgar Schein uh, is saying, and the uh, HR people would know him, he is saying art is helping us to see more, to feel more, to hear more. Art is shocking, provoking, inspiring. And that is what we see and we are doing it. And uh, using art as a tool, as I said, for leadership development. And the other one uh, which makes great impact is this experiential learning. You are, we are bringing people to Sarajevo, where was the war, and we are letting them there to meet with political leaders, uh, NGO leaders, uh, business leaders, artists, and then they are discovering risk management on another way than only through the knowledge how to deal with risk in the insurance company, etc. No? It is, again, full of emotions and full of, you know, sharing the experience. And, uh, and that's why we are so special. But you will have, of course, a lot of, if you come to any of other regular programs, you will have, of course, a lot of knowledge. You may not forget that we don't, that we give also that. A lot of knowledge, a lot of meeting people for the rest of their life, you know, to connect and to learn from each other. And you will, of course, uh, have uh, a lot of special experience, which many people say, it changed my life. Because the journalist asked me before, why would somebody come to you? I think because we are innovative, international, and you know, uh, also offering some of the best faculty and, and of course great students, which I think is the most important. And we are uh, bringing the best out of them with our methodology. Here I finish and I go on my lecture for what I came here, and that I.